Did you know that you can get more out of the command line than what you're currently getting? In this video, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks that might change the way that you use the command line. But before I do, let me make this statement. There's no wrong way to use AutoCAD. You can type your commands in, you can get your tools off the ribbon, you can right click and use context menus. Whatever you choose to do and whatever works for you is perfectly fine. But don't overlook the command line because there's a lot of power there that AutoCAD has built into it. So first of all, if you're going to use the command line to type in the commands, don't click on the command line unless you want to look like a beginner. So if I want to access a command in AutoCAD, all I have to do is start typing. For example, if I type in LI, it's going to look at all of the commands that have LI in them and give me a list on this autocomplete list down here at the bottom. So LI is the list command, but it also has limits or line or line type and so on. Okay, But there's more to it. There's also, if I look here on the closer to the bottom, there's this limb check, which is one of the AutoCAD variables. And if I click on the little arrow right next to limb check, you'll see that it expands and it gives me more of the variables that have LI in them, such as limit max, limit minimum, lights in blocks, line fading. So these are all AutoCAD variables that have LI in them. If I go even to the bottom down here, you'll see that there's a block that has li in it which is oblique and if i wanted to insert that block i could simply click on it and um, access it that way furthermore if i come in here and i want to change a layer like i have a layer for example that's c dash concrete i can just type in c dash c and it will say hey i've got of course the circle command which is not what i want but if i want to get to that c dash concrete layer i can click on it and it automatically changes my layer to that C concrete layer. If I want to go back to that one that was A anno notes, I can just type in AA and it gives me all of the layers that start with A A and it might be the AA note, you know, that one there. So I click on that and it makes that layer current. But wait, there's more. If you right click on the command line and you go to input search options, it brings up this dialog box where you can completely customize what you get on that command line. So for example, I could turn the autocomplete off, but I don't recommend it because it's quite powerful. <clears throat> this checkbox here allows the mid-string search. So if I type in LI, for example, it's not going to uh, limit it to just commands that start with LI, but it will also find LI in the middle as it did with the oblique block. Um, there is an autocorrect option inside of AutoCAD. So if I, for example, uh, I and O are, off, are right next to each other on the keyboard. So if I type in LO instead of LI, it's going to say, hey, do you want the line command instead? And after I pick that line command instead, three times, it's going to remember that correction. So that if I type in LO, it's going to automatically give me the line command. Um, I can also search for system variables. That was like the limit check. Um, and if I check this box, it's automatically going to do it. And it's going to separate the commands and the system variables. And we saw that because they were separated on the, on the command line down there. This one here says the selection, uh, the, the list delay time. It's set at 300 milliseconds, which is three tenths of a second. You could change that number to you want that uh, as you want up to a number of 10,000. That's the highest max. So 10,000 would be 10 seconds. If I choose OK now and I come in here and I type LI, it's going to wait 10 seconds before it shows me the autocomplete list that's coming up. So eight, nine. 10, there it is. So it took 10 seconds. It's maybe if you want to mess with your coworkers, you could go in there and change that in their settings so that they're like, hey, my computer's acting kind of funny. But um, I would say that, you know, just leave that at, you can leave it at 300. You can change it to 500, which is a half a second. doesn't really matter. And then you can say, I want to search for all of these things or none of these things. And they're just a simple 
checkbox where you can say, I don't really want to look for dim styles and visual styles, or maybe you do. So this is there and that's the way you want to work it. So a great way of using uh, the command line in AutoCAD is just to let it find what you want and let it do the work for you. Now, one last thing. Sometimes when you get something off of the command line, it's going to run a command line version or the dash version of the command. So for example, if I type in CO, it has of course the copy option and some of these others copy clip. It has the coordinates um, AutoCAD variable, but then there's a block called compass in here. So if I want to insert, insert this block, I can click on it and it brings it in. I can click, but then notice that what it's doing is it's taking me through the command line version. So it wants to know the scale factor and then the rotation angle. So just be aware that it might run a little bit differently than what you expect. But of course, look at the command line to figure out exactly what AutoCAD wants at any time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.